Hello, I'm Delusion Dispel, and I want to take this moment to answer a question from one of my viewers. She had explained to me that she was in a situation <clears throat> in which her mom, who is up in her upper 80s, has become very um, controlling, demanding, narcissistic over the years, but is now in a situation where she needs to be taken care of. And there are other siblings, and they, I guess, are going to share the um, situation of taking care of their mom. She asked me how much is she obligated to care for this woman that just constantly berates her, puts her down, shows no empathy, no compassion, no feelings towards her whatsoever. After I thought about it, because I honestly have never been in this situation at this point. My mom is in her 60s. She's not quite up there yet. Um, but, and if you live near her, you probably feel more obligated to care for her. I don't live near my mom. So, my answer to you would be this. First of all, nobody has to do anything in life. I understand you're asking biblically what your obligation is, because God says to honor our parents, and many cultures take the elderly in and take care of them. However, I'm... I guess maybe a little bit more, um, I don't know if the word's liberated or what it is, but I don't believe you have to put your life on hold, um, tax your adrenaline system and your cortisol level with a woman that treats you like absolute dirt simply because she's mean. That is what um, nursing homes are for. That is what um, care centers are for. That's not necessarily your obligation. However, should you be in a position where you have to do that, like you can't afford one of these homes or centers that could, you know, be specially skilled to take care of um, this lady? What you can do is set boundaries, and what I encourage you to do is set boundaries. What that means is you say to your mother, Mom, I've agreed to take care of you, but there are conditions to this. I love you, I respect you, I honor you, but you will not down to me and be mean to me. If you do, I will walk out of the room until you treat me civilly. And if you don't treat me civilly, then we're going to have to talk about uh, another consequence. It's almost like you have to treat them like children. And actually, narcissists are basically, in my opinion, children that never grew up. And when the elderly become elderly, especially the narcissists, I believe, again, that they just become more like children. They're more dependent. And they're also dealing with feelings of, you know, I'm not going to be here much longer. My days are numbered. So I want to make sure that I'm taken care of and that everything is done the way I want it so that I can feel secure. Because remember, the narcissist's main underlying feeling is insecurity. Even though they look like they got it all together. Deep down inside, if you get up close and personal with a narcissist, they feel very inferior to people and very insecure. And they've never dealt with this woman because they can't admit they have them. So you want to let your mother know that there are stipulations to your caregiving. Yes, you should take care of her if you can, and if you can handle that emotionally and otherwise. It's very difficult. You know, I was talking to somebody the other day about this whole situation with um, taking care of an elderly narcissist. And they were like, well, it's your parent. You're obligated to take care of them. And I said, but you don't understand. Narcissists are not cut from the same cloth as your typical elderly aging parent. These people are ruthless. They're mean. They're vindictive. They're spiteful. They don't appreciate what you do. And that's draining on a person to take care of somebody like that. That's why I said, if you possibly can, there are specialized places for people like this that know how to handle the ups and downs of mood swings, etc. Um, I think it's very hard to deal with a narcissistic person, even if you are a professional, because, like I said, they're not cut from the same cloth. They're just, they're just not. Um, anybody that's dealt with them can tell you they march to the beat of a drum that you've never even seen heard of or didn't even know was created. I mean, it's just that different. So, I give credit to anybody that does have to handle this type of people day in and day out at the nursing homes, at the skilled centers, etc. My point is that 
you don't have to do it, but if you do have to do it, you need to set limits, set boundaries, like you would with a child. Um, obviously, don't tell a narcissist you're treating them like a child, but definitely tell them. You're not going to throw things at me. You're not going to put me down. You're not going to call me names. Um, if you do, then I'm going to have to do something about it. And I'm not really sure at this point what exactly you could do. I've been wondering if you can call a harassment charge on somebody that does that to you, even if it's your parent. I'm not sure. Somebody might be able to tell me on the details. I just know there needs to be boundaries in any relationship, but especially with somebody that's verbally abusive and toxic to you. So I hope that answers your question as best as I can. I don't have all the answers to everything. Um, I'm only a bachelor level degree in my psychology field, so I'm still learning. But if anybody has an answer, let me know. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps them. God bless you. Let me know what happens. Bye.